Let's start with the definition of rectifier. A rectifier is defined as an electrical device which converts alternating current to direct current. That is, it converts AC to DC. Now, the alternating current which comes in our houses are 230 volts and 50 hertz. That is, it has two properties. That is, one is voltage and another is frequency. In some other part of the world, there are different voltages which are available, which are 110 volts and 60 hertz. Here we have the basic block diagram of rectifier. The first is the transformer, which in some cases is optional. The function of the transformer is to provide isolation between the input and the rectifier circuit. The second function of the transformer is either to increase the voltage that is using step up transformer or to decrease the voltage that is using the step down transformer. In most of the application, a step-down transformer is used. In case of rectifier, the rectifier block represents the rectifier circuit itself. It can be designed using the diodes, SCRs, diac, triac and some other devices like these. The third is the load. That is, it can be either resistive, inductive or capacitive or a combination of these three devices. Let's see the different types of rectifiers. Now the rectifiers are divided into basically two types, half wave and full wave. The name comes from the number of cycles converted at the output. If this being the input waveform, the half wave as the name suggests will convert only half of the wave. Whereas the full wave would convert both the cycles and hence the name full wave. The full wave is again divided into two types that is full wave center tapped and bridge. Let's start with the half wave rectifier that is only one diode is present. So here we have the transformer, the diode and the resistor as the load. In the positive half cycle we have this polarity which is generated and hence the diode D is on giving a voltage at the output. In negative half cycle, what happens is since the anode of the diode is connected to negative, the diode becomes off and it acts as open circuit and hence you have no output in this cycle. In the next positive cycle, again you have a replica of the input and hence the name half wave rectifier. Observe that only in one cycle you get current through the load. Next is the full wave rectifier. That is, we are going to see two types that is center tap and bridge. Let's start with the center tap rectifier. Here we have a very special type of transformer which is designed. The secondary of the transformer is tapped at the center. That's why the name center tap. To have equal amount or equal number of turns across the center tap. The polarity in positive half cycle which is generated due to this center tap is as shown in the diagram. In positive half cycle D1 is on and D2 is off because D1 is connected to positive and D2 is connected to negative. In negative half cycle what happens is D1 is off and D2 is on giving me a current through D2 load and back to the center. Observe that in both the cycles the current flowing through the resistance or the load is in same direction and hence you have the output in the same direction. This is the bridge rectifier. Again here we have the transformer and four different diodes arranged in a structure of bridge. In positive half cycle the polarity which is generated across the secondary is plus minus giving this diode to be forward biased as well as this diode to be forward biased and the current flowing through the load is in this direction. In the negative half cycle what will happen 
is the polarity across the secondary will be negative, positive. So this diode will be on and this diode will be on giving the current again in the same direction that is positive, negative and output in the same direction and hence the name full wave rectifier. The last slide compares the half wave rectifier, full wave rectifier and bridge rectifier with the parameters which we have seen up till now. It can be compared with different parameters or more parameters than these but whatever we have seen from whatever we have seen half wave rectifier has one diode the transformer which is connected can be op optional and the efficiency is very poor we say this because only half of the cycle is coming at the output in full wave center tapped two diodes are connected but we have a special type of transformer which is needed which is the center tap transformer but the efficiency is good because both the cycles are converted into the waveform. In case of bridge the number of diodes have increased that is 4 but the transformer requirement has been reduced in this case giving a full wave efficiency which is good. So this concludes the basic working of all the three rectifiers. Thank you.